Range Rover, came off the back of a tow truck, no compression, won't start. You guys saw it on Facebook the other day, running like a milk wagon. We've worked out what's going on. It's super common on these three litre diesels. The cam gear has let go. This is the front timing gear. That's part of your gear. All these bits in here, oh, that, none of that's good. And the belt is now just spinning, which means all the valves have hit the cylinders. Well, more accurately, the cylinders pistons hit the valve. Why can't I get this out? <laughs> yeah, boy. Yes. So that's your gear, your cam gear. Snapped off there. Super common problem. Even though people say, I've never seen this before. We see it all the time. There's still bits of gear down in there. I wonder if I can get them out. We're still actually missing some bits. Look, that's... That's good. Yes, that's the technical term. Yeah, but look where it lets go. It's just this flimsy piece of... Like, there's only... Here, I want to get this out, I'll show you. Okay, so this is a Land Rover slash Range Rover 3 litre diesel V6 engine. This is a super common fault. We see heaps of these. I've had quite a few people tell us uh, that it's an issue with fitting the timing belt and we disagree with that strongly. Uh, this vehicle we've never seen before. The driver's side, so we're talking right hand side, uh, sorry, right hand drive vehicles here. The driver's side cam gear uh, is made up of a two piece section, um, which you can see from the footage of us pulling it apart. And this is super common for braking, but the result is obviously the pistons are still going up and down and the cam has stopped turning because this has fallen to pieces. That's obviously not how it goes. Anyway. Um, like that, I suspect. Yeah, and the result is your engine is now turned into a blender and it is done. Very good, or well, not so good if you own it. Not much change from 25, 27 grand for a new motor, fitted. Sad.